March 26, 2018. This may well be the last remnants of the snow. The sun is shining bright. It's about 45 and windy, so it's a little chilly. But the sun is nice and strong and feels great. Couldn't agree more. It's time for spring. So peaceful on the roost. Such sweet. Well, I was going to do an update the other night here in the greenhouse. Because um, <laughs> I started doing some propagation. Took a bunch of rosemary cuttings. Started a bunch of seeds. Brought in my double stack benches. Starting to get things cranking. But I was about halfway doing these through doing these rosemary cuttings when the uh, greenhouse pie went down, stopped logging data. They killed this uh, overhead fan. And uh, so I spent uh, some time trying to figure out what was wrong. I assumed the sensor went down, did some diagnostics went through a whole bunch of hassle and I think I found the bad sensor or sensors took them out replaced them had the sensors all working again uh, shut it down to replace the hat that goes on the pie here that interfaces to the sensors and relays um, powered back up and it wouldn't boot so uh, I've spent the last couple days screwing around trying to straighten this out um, I think the Pi 3B that I had in here, or B+, plus, uh, I think the board died on it for some reason. Not sure what that's about. Uh, I went back and looked at the Amazon link, and it expired on the warranty a month ago. So that figures. So I uh, brought an old Pi 2 out here and put it in in place of it, and uh, can't seem to get things working correctly. Fortunately, my good friend Dave uh, is going to loan me a Pi 3B. Uh, so I can hopefully get this back online because uh, this is a really critical time of season for me. Just goes to show you how susceptible we are with technology. You imagine what a, uh, a solar flare would do to us. Wipe out all of our communication, all of our networks. Uh, it's why I like to make things EMP proof and not rely on electronics, but there is a certain convenience that comes with electronics and uh, the ability to do things remotely and precisely and so that's why I build things this way anyway it uh, points me in the direction of hardening this interface even further to make it more reliable because uh, this is what drives uh, the heat pump to transfer heat on the cold nights into the thermal mass and it also is what drives the vents for cooling on the sunny days like today so I've been playing the struggle game again of uh, stoking on the cold overnights, which we've had the last couple nights. We're down into the low 20s, so I've had to keep up with the stoke and then be up early enough to get the greenhouse open so it'll vent and air out and not cook everything in here. And, uh, well, that, uh, that eats a lot of my sleep time, we'll put it that way. Uh, so I'm a little tired and worn from the last few days, uh, but... Uh, Dave's supposed to drop off a, uh, a Pi 3B board, and I'm hoping that that'll solve the problem. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's something wrong with this uh, 2B board, and I don't know what it is, and I don't want to screw with it anymore, because uh, it's got me uh, 
pulling out my noggin hairs. <laughs> so, anyway, um, just thought I'd give a quick update on that. Uh, on a more positive note, uh, things are greening up in here really nicely. Um, I did a bunch of transplants. I think I showed these in the last video. Um, and plants are pretty happy. I got to go through and do another water in here um, on these. And I actually, because of this pie issue, never got back to do the inoculant and the trace mineral nutrition on these uh, propagation and starter flats. So I will try and do that later on. Uh, I may do a short video on that, but uh, we'll see how time and frustrations go. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, throw a quick update. Uh, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seas Network.